already back. Wow, yes, we're getting ready for part two. Did you watch part one with Pastor Carlo and Julian? You did? Okay, great. So you're ready for part two. We're gonna find out how to deal with feelings of jealousy. Danger, danger, stay back. I know Kung Fu. But stranger, I'm Dr. Frederick von Strumpf, and your dad, Pasha Kola, has sent you to me to learn about the Genesis. Yes. Oh, we're still on this adventure thing? Yes, you're still on the adventure, and I have the cure for jealousy. Hmm. But sorry, without my dad, I'm not gonna take any pills or strange candy. Yeah, no, no pills, no needles. Needle dad! Julian, it's all right. Listen to what the man has to say. Thank you. So when we focus on what we don't have and what, what someone else's have, we don't end up appreciating what we do have. Appreciating? Yeah, we are grateful for all the things that we have in our lives. Yeah, the antidote to jealousy is gratitude, counting your blessings, because every good and perfect gift comes from above. Mm. Everything? That's right. All our blessings come from God. So instead of wor worrying about Luigi Zamboni and what Mario he Mario Bamboloni! What? Yeah, sure. Instead of focusing on what other people have, you should be looking and being grateful on what God has given to you. Very good diagnosis, Pasha Kola. Hmm. You have any ideas of what you're grateful for? Let's start simple. You can breathe. You can smile. You can laugh. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Yeah, and be grateful because you can feel pain. <laughs> you whoa, the whoa, whoa there, Einstein. Julian, are you getting the idea? Uh, maybe. So what's the cure for jealousy? Oh, I know, I know. I know you Pick know. Me. Oh. I know you know, but I'm asking the kid. Okay, okay. Gratitude. That's right. But what if I still want an iPhone 18? Well, you can always ask mommy and daddy. Julian, we do our best to raise you. If there is anything that you're missing, don't be jealous. God has given you godly parents who can hear God and know what is best for you. I guess. This is so beautiful. Pasha Carlo, can you be my papa? Uh, Julian, let's let's get out of here. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Hey kids, God loves us so much and he wants us all to himself. It breaks your heart when you see me dancing with the enemy and it breaks your heart when you see a bride in adultery you were meant to be my only one and you are a jealous God and you are jealous for me and you are a jealous God you are jealous for me and you just wanna be close just wanna be intimate with your bride and you just wanna be close you don't want anything that takes me from you and you how a jealous God And you are jealous for me Yes, you are a jealous God And you are jealous for me Thank you for 
worshiping with me. Bye. Bye, Oscar. <laughs> Show off. Huh? Yeah, Judy, just pretend you did nothing wrong. So insensitive. Huh? There you go again, flaunting your blessings. Oh, have you ever even thought about how I scratch my head? No. See, you don't even care that I have no arms. If I had arms, I'd lift weights, go swimming, and, 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 and I'd win arm wrestling competitions. It's not fair that you have arms and all you do is scratch your head and pick your nose. Hey, watch your mouth or else I'm going to use my arms to do Kung Fu on you. Oh yeah, bring it on, arm boy. <laughs> whoa, 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 what's going on here? I'm going to show this arm waster who's boss. But he's just jealous that I have arms and mm. he doesn't. It's not mm. my fault that he doesn't have any arms. Yeah, let me at him. Oscar, Oscar, I, I, I see. I know that you would be able to win in a fight with Julian. Yeah, that's you, good. Come on, Dad. Well, you know what? Let's talk things out. Why are you so concerned about arms all of a sudden? Well, everyone around me has arms, and uh, it always looks like they can do such cool stuff with their arms, and uh, it seems like the whole world is made for people with arms, and not for me, so I feel left out. Oh, uh, Oscar. <laughs> Well, Oscar, it is true that people do have arms and they can do extraordinary things, but I believe that you are also extraordinary. Yeah? How? I can't even open a jar of pickles. Well, you are a worm and that's pretty cool, right? You can dig in the dirt and stuff. Yeah, and you know what? I The whole world is covered with dirt and you can get around anywhere. Uh. It's like the world was created just for you. Ah, uh, yeah, well... Never thought of it like that. That's kind of true. I heard if you cut a worm in half, then there'll be two different worms. Dad, you want to test it out? <laughs> no, you're going to come No, in. Julian, no. <laughs> Oscar, we're not going to cut you in half. Oh, my goodness. What Julian is saying is that you're special and you have your own special strengths that others do not have. I guess that's... True. So Julian, what do you think the antidote for his jealousy is? I think that we can praise God for what he can do and let's not focus on what he can't do. That's, That's right. right. You hear that, Oscar? Yeah. Celebrate what you can uh -huh. do, what's super special about you mm -hmm. versus what you cannot do. Mm -hmm. And we thank God for what he has given you. That's totally red, dude. That's making me feel so grateful for being a worm. Thanks so much. So High happy. five. Seriously? Julian, come on, let's go. Mm. Bye, Oscar. Bye. Bye. Okay, bye. 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 <laughs> Hi kids, it's me, Paul. Paul the Apostle Paul. And welcome to another epistle, a pistle for the internet. And today, I heard you've been struggling with jealousy. Don't lie. <laughs> Don't lie. It happens to the best of us. You know, I've spoken to many people, many of my dearly beloved children, who have problems with jealousy. Can you believe it? Christians. Jealous? <laughs> well, here's what I told the Corinthians is that don't go focusing on what other people have. It's some people can prophesy, some people can speak in tongues, but if you don't have those gifts, why are you getting upset? Was it your friends who gave you the gifts? Was it the friends who got the gifts from some random person? No, it's God who chose them to have that gift. So, are you gonna blame God? <laughs> I don't think so, not very wise. God is gonna give you your own special gift. So focus on what God is giving you and not what other people are doing. Mind your own business. Sorry for being a bit abrupt, but as a father, I just need to protect you into, <laughs> into a right state of mind. And I was telling the Romans, get this, that if you are the one who knows you have the spiritual gifts, if you are the one that is flaunting your stuff, you're the one that's in the wrong. If you know people around you are gonna be jealous of what you have and you flaunt it and you make them jealous on purpose, oh, what are you doing? You're inviting chaos into your life. You're inviting a, a lack of peace. So if you wanna keep peace with everyone, number one, if they have gifts, you don't get jealous. You wait on the Lord. And number two, if you do have gifts, 
Don't go flaunting it in front of people that you know you're gonna make jealous. Is it so hard to understand? Just be at peace with each other. For my sake. <laughs> Sorry for being a bit harsh, but <laughs> you know, this really gets to my heart. We shouldn't be comparing with one another. We should be uplifting and celebrating each other. <laughs> and that's it from me, Paul, Paul the Apostle Paul. Until next time, boy. Hey, Max. Hey, Ken, what you up to? I'm learning uh. the cure to jealousy is praying to God and thanking him for what you have. <laughs> Easy for you to say. Huh? huh? Kid, you've never gone through any real problems. Hmm? I guess you would be grateful, but I just can't do it. Life is unfair. Some people, like my snot-nosed brother, get all the favor and acceptance in the world. Then honest working people like me are struggling and don't even get a reward. Hmm. Can you thank God for what he's done for you? Heh, <laughs> thank God. For what? He hasn't done anything special for me. I've had a hard life from day one. Nothing special or worth thanking him for. Well, you can breathe, you can walk, you can hear, you can feel. Um, seriously? You're grasping at straws here, kid. Most people can do that just by being born. Are they all thanking God? No, you thank God when he does something for you, like get a job, or you get money, <laughs> which I don't have at the moment. That's very sad to hear. Yeah, so kid, stay jealous. This world is not kind to people. As long as you stay jealous, you can always try to find opportunities to make their days just as bad as yours. <laughs> I think I just lost the cure to jealousy. Some people actually don't have anything to thank God for. Yeah. What? Who said that? Me. I'm the one who said that, and it's true. You can't talk because you're a pastor and a dad and have a nice shirt on. I've been wearing the same suit for three years. Whoa, Matt, I'm sorry to hear that. But there's one thing that we all need to be grateful for, no matter how hard our lives get. Ice cream? No. Fancy cars? No. Shishku bobbing Mario Bamboloni? Julian, <laughs> Jesus. Jesus is the answer. Oh. That well, sense. Jesus gave me a fancy car. Listen, guys, you guys are focused on all the wrong things. You guys are focused on cars and what God can do for you. But God has already done an amazing thing that we cannot be grateful enough for. What? This will be good. Yes, because the Bible says that before the foundations of the world, that the lamb was slain for our sins, which means that Jesus died for us before we were even born for our sins so that we can live forever with him. You mean when we die? Just come out and say it. When we die, we live forever with him. This kid, you can't sugarcoat things. He's gonna find out eventually. Yes, that's because of the death and resurrection of Jesus Christ that we get to live with God forever, for eternity, when we die. He suffered and died for us, for you and me. So even if we're never ever blessed again. Like me, I'm never blessed. Which is unlikely because we love God and we believe in his favor. Easy for you to say. Even if those things never happen, we can never thank God enough for the great gift of salvation and the eternal life that God gave us through Jesus. Ugh. A lot of words. Tell me about it. Can't find anything here on earth to be grateful for. Why don't you just be grateful for God for being God and for loving us so much? So even if I don't get a fancy car, I still should thank God because he's done so much for me already. That's right. I think I found the cure for jealousy again. You never really lost it. So let's be grateful for the blessings in our lives. And the greatest blessing is his nearness to us. <sighs> Fine, I'll give this gratitude thing a shot. Matt. Okay, Mr. Fancy Shirt. I thank you, Jesus, for what you've done. Much better. Mm. What about you, Julian? You still want to shish about Mario? No, I'm happy who I am. At a boy.
to think about the goodness of the Lord. He gives me everything I need and so much more. So I just want to lift my hands and say that. and welcome to Revive Nation's Quiz with Pastor Sarah. And our special guests today are Pastor Carlo and Julian. And on today's show, we're going to test Julian's knowledge to see if we can turn his tough dad into a cheeky chipmunk. That's what I said, a cheeky chipmunk. And the rules for today's show are that I'm gonna ask Julian questions and for every question he gets right, Pastor Carlo is going to have to put two marshmallows into his mouth and say cheeky chipmunk. Okay, everyone ready? And question one, why was Cain jealous of Abel? Because Cain's offering was rejected and Abel's offering was accepted. Hey, and he is right! Yay! Okay, ba -ba -ba -da 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 -da. Pastor Carlo, you need to put two marshmallows into your mouth and say cheeky chipmunk. Cheeky chipmunk. Okay, question number two. How many of the Ten Commandments start with thou shall not covet? Two. Hey, he is right, it is two. Pastor Carlo, over to you. Eat two more marshmallows and say, cheeky chipmunk. Cheeky chipmunk. Wow, Julian, you are on a roll. I hope the kids at home are not jealous of you. And the next question, true or false? God doesn't mind if we worship him or not. False. He's a jealous God. And that is the correct answer. Oh my goodness, Pastor Carlo. Two more marshmallows and say cheeky chipmunk. Cheeky chipmunk. And question four, I hope this question doesn't stump you. If King Saul defeated 1,000, how many did David defeat? 2,000? Wrong! It was actually 10,000! Aww, Dad, you can take a break. Oh, yes you can. You can take a rest on this one. Okay, for the next round, we're gonna change things up just a little bit. I'm gonna give you real life scenarios and you're gonna tell me what you would do. The first scenario is, your friend is sad because you keep beating him in a race. He says it's not fair because you run too fast. What would you tell your friend, Julian, in this situation? I would tell them that they are better than me at most things, like soccer, baseball. Okay, so you would encourage your friend and remind them what they're good at, so that they're not so jealous of you for running fast? Yes. 
Excellent answer. Pasta Carlo, time to eat two marshmallows and say cheeky chipmunk. Cheeky chipmunk. And the next scenario is someone at your church, a friend, is not feeling very thankful or grateful. What would you say? I'm talking about Jesus. You would talk to them about Jesus and the gift of salvation? Yes. Wow, that's certainly something that they can be thankful for. That is a great answer. And the final scenario is, what is the cure for jealousy? Gratitude. Hey, he's right. Dad, eat those marshmallows. Chicken. Chipmunk. Wow, Julian, you won. Kids at home, don't be jealous of him. You can celebrate him and be grateful. Until next time, bye. Thanks, Papa, for taking me on this adventure. I totally forgot about what I was jealous about. Great, Julian, I'm so happy that you're choosing to be grateful. Thanks, Dad. Let's close our eyes and pray. Heavenly Father, Lord, we thank you for your love, your grace, and your mercy. We thank you for your son, Jesus, who has given us the ultimate gift. And Lord, we thank you that we choose to be grateful and not to be jealous of others. Father, we give you all the praise and honor. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye. Bye. Wow, what a great episode. And you know what would make me really grateful? is if you like this video, you share it with a friend and you subscribe. And please go down into the link below for more resources so that you can continue to learn and grow and love Jesus more and more. Until next time, we love you. Bye.